Yes or no? No. Now, is the Pope right here bowing down before idols and praying before these idols? Yes or no? Just praying in front of them. Exactly. So they have a purpose. He's doing what God said don't do. You can't bow down before these, these images and worship. So he's in direct contrast to what you're reading. So when you look at the Ark of the Covenant, and when you look mm -hmm. at the things the Most High told the Levites to make, mm -hmm. not once did he tell the Israelites to bow down to. They had a spiritual purpose to help Israel connect with the Father. The Ark of the Covenant was placed in the temple, and the Most High used to come down amongst the congregation where the Ark was. Mm -hmm. And the people, and, and the priests and the elders would deal with the Most High to warn and talk to the people and deliver the messages to the people. So that had a spiritual significance. Not once did the Israelites bow down before the Ark of the Covenant and pray. Not once. Okay? So, if the Lord says, do not make any image of anything that's in heaven to bow down and worship, is the Pope breaking that rule? According to what you read. Nothing else. Now, I'm going to give you an opportunity, listen to me James, I'm going to give you the opportunity right now to show me where the Pope can do this in the Bible. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Because you're, putting, you're putting me on the spot here. Like, I have to, because I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it to, um, to, try, to try to uh, challenge you. I'm doing it so you can think yourself, mm -hmm. so that you can challenge yourself and, and say, Am I following an antichrist without knowing? Mm -hmm. Like, is there biblical scriptures to solidify my faith? Or is it what Christ warned us from? Many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. The only way you, you will know you're not being deceived if you can prove what you're reading. Mm -hmm. So your faith must be built on, must have some scriptural foundation. Go to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. I'm going to show you why I'm doing this. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21, brother. Let me know when you're there. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Let me put this down for a second. Read that. Prove all things. Read it again. Prove all things. What did the Bible tell you to do, Brother James? Prove all things. Prove all things. Read. Hold fast that which is good. And you must always hold fast to what's good. You know what's good? This book. Let the most high word be true in every man alive. If we stay with this book, we're safe. It's when we start doing things outside of the book. We must be very careful. The Pope is leading people directly to hell. Because him... He's breaking all the rules himself. He's doing the first commandment that the Most High gave Israel was not to bow to images. He told them not to make images of anything in the heaven. They got pictures of angels coming down. All type of things they have going on down there in the Vatican. Angels are where? In heaven. You will never see any place in Israelite history where we made likenesses of what was in the heaven above the <laughs> See, but that's the Most High commanded that because of the power of the ark. That, that was an extension of him. Doesn't that seem like some sort of contradiction, though? Not at all. Because, again, you cannot read in the Bible where he told Israel to go before the ark of the covenant and pray. Nowhere. They still made the images, though. They made the images. Listen, they did that because the Most High was dealing directly with the ark and coming down on the congregation. That was the most high right there. But still, nowhere did he say, Moses, set that up so the people can pray to it for me. Nowhere. Nowhere, brother. We should just serve one God. That's it. No, no images at all. How many? Think about this. Another thing, before we go to the next thing. Mary. It seems like they promote Mary more than more than Christ. Mm, I don't know if you should speak, you know, for, for 
Oh, I think it's only fair that I speak from the Catholic view of all the Catholic. Bring it. Yeah. Tell me what you believe. Come on. Uh, I would disagree with that, especially since um, at every Mass, Mary's name is mentioned one time in every prayer throughout the entire Mass, which is said every day. Um, it's, it's very, we, we always pray every prayer in the name of the Father and then of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Every, every prayer is prayed in that name. Oh, yeah. um, people have special devotions towards, you know, maybe the Sacred Heart of Jesus, maybe to Mary, maybe to saints, but everything that's done is always directed towards the glory of the glory of God. Like Mary is not an end in herself. It's sort of like a, a means. I mean, I don't like to put it that way, but you know what I mean? What would you, would, no, go ahead, explain, explain yourself. Um, what, what's the purpose of Mary at all? Like when you mentioned, I'm going to quote what you said. You said uh, that Mary is only made mention once during Mass. So the question is, why is she mentioned? It's it's during the, the, the prayer of um, confessing our confessing our sins to one another, and we ask everybody to pray for us. We ask um, we ask Mary to pray for us. We ask the saints to pray for us. We ask okay. we ask everybody to pray for us because we believe that these are living people. They're living in heaven, okay. and they have special intercession with God. Okay. And that's why we ask them to pray for us. Okay, so, ask, so now, yes, that, I know that must be in the Bible somewhere, what you're saying right there. What you're saying right there must be in the Bible because that's one of the most important parts of understanding and connecting with the Father. Let's pray. So show me that in the Bible where we have to pray to Mary and the saints. Show me that. Before, and, and, and why are you getting that? Because I'm sure you're going to show me. I need you to go to St. John 14 and 6 real quick. St. John 14 and 6. Jesus saith unto him. Who's talking right here? Jesus. Read. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, so if Christ then paved the way, that he's the only way to the Father, mm -hmm. where do these other characters come in at? No, no. Bible. Give it to me. Out of the Bible. Uh, okay. Show me where we're supposed to use Mary and saints as intercessors between man and the Most High. I'm waiting. Um, for example, no, I don't want no example. I want scripture. I want the Bible. You, you told me that the Christian faith foundation is is based on the Bible. That's what okay. you told me. That's that's where we are, brother. I want to see. It. Okay. Angels intercede intercede for us. In the Bible, multiple occasions, they come down from heaven, and people communicate with the angels. I don't, I don't think you understand the question. We're just dealing strictly in prayer now. You made a statement, and I'm going to quote the statement, that as intercession, you prayed to Mary and saints. I didn't say that we prayed that to Mary you and pray, saints. Well, you pray, and you talk with them or pray to them so that they can intercede and talk to the Father. That's what you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I want to see that in the Bible. We need to see that. Because that means we're missing some steps here. Mm -hmm. Because Christ told us, He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by Him. That's the only way we've, we've been going. But mm -hmm. it bears, and then He says in St. John the 10th chapter, that if anybody try to come another way, if anyone come another way, they are a thief and a robber. Mm -hmm. So if He's the way, and He said that out of His own mouth, I need to see where Christ switched that.